This is an addendum to the video that I'm putting before we uh, continue the discussion about the second viewer's choice poll. Uh, later on, you're going to hear me talking about do it poss the possibility of doing a YouTube poll through uploading videos and having you vote on them by upvoting them. Well, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and do that, so that's actually an interesting idea. And what's going to happen is that, uh, kind of towards maybe 5 to 10 minutes in, I'll start talking about the videos that we're going to have, and I'll be putting up images for each of the uh, games. Or videos, yeah. Games we're going to have, putting up images for each uh, game as I uh, list them off. And I'll put links on uh, around those images that you can click on to go to the video for that game to uh, vote it up if you so choose. Um, I just wanted to make a mention of that before we continued on with the uh, discussion of the uh, next VCP. Hello everyone, this is Geo Wolf from Left Man Productions Squared. And this morning, I'm, well, afternoon I guess, morning for me, but uh, here today to bring to you the official announcement of the opening of the second Viewer's Choice Poll. Uh, they'll be having today on February 1st. Uh, there are a few things I wanted to go over, though, before we get into, uh, which games are going to be part of the poll. Um, specifically some changes that are taking place. Uh, one of the main things is that since YouTube no longer allows us to use the moderator function on the, or moderator module on our channel pages, I guess they took it away because they felt it was giving us too much power over our channels or something, I don't know. <clears throat> or they couldn't adapt it to their new crappy layouts. But, um, anyway, since that's not possible, uh, the third polling place <clears throat> is going to be our Google Plus account. Um, even so, the Google Plus doesn't have a proper polling, uh, feature, so to speak, and so it's going to just be like a uh, comment from me with replies that will be locked and then you just vote on which games you want uh, to uh, see us do. Uh, that brings us to the next point. Um, one of the really other large changes, there's three of them, so the second one is um, the number of games and how many games you get to vote for and how many games will be uh, chosen. This is all related to each other, so that's why it's all under number two. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, list off the games, since we're onto this uh, section here. Um, there is a list of games on our Facebook page already, but that list is now incomplete because I'm adding more games. Um, to that list. So. The games list on the Facebook page consists of Skyrim, which will have a uh, commentary with it, Xenosaga Episode 2, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, Dawn of War 2, The Longest Journey, Portal 2, Bulletstorm, Crazy Machines, Dark Spore, Dark Siders, Xenoclash, To the Moon, and Yes, the Oath and the Felgana. And adding added to those uh, to that list is going to be the following games. And there's going to be uh, nine games added. They're all going to be from various uh, from three platforms, three from each. Uh, platform. It's going to be three from GameCube, three from PlayStation, and then three from uh, PlayStation 2. Let me just grab them here so I've got them. That's anime. What I do with this? I just have the GameCube ones in there. Um, so I'll have to do the other ones from memory. But the GameCube games are going to be Custom Robo, uh, Metroid Prime, and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. For the PlayStation 2 games, we're going to have um, Dot Hack Infection, um, Digital Devil Saga, which is part of the Shin Megami Tensei Saga, which uh, Persona is also a part of, 
And also, the third one for that is going to be... Ow. Bumped my toe on this certain thing. Uh, going to be... Uh, Gorilla Lancer Generations. Gorilla Lancer 2. And that's uh, a pretty hard-to-find game. Um, Working Designs only, rele only released so many of... Uh, the uh, Grounds for Generations Deluxe Packages, and uh, I snapped one of those up really early on, but uh, they since went out of business, and um, it's kind of hard to find this, so that's going to be a rare game. So uh, so is uh, Digital Devil Saga 1. Um, <clears throat> there are several rare games this time around. Um, by rare, I mean games that cost a lot to buy new, or that are hard to find. Um... For the PlayStation, we have, I guess, probably all the PlayStation games could be considered rare or hard to find. Um, Legend of Legaia is uh, one of them, and it is extremely hard to find. Um, I bought it new off of Amazon a couple of years ago for $99. Bucks. Um, it's not, it is not the most I've paid ever for a game. I paid 120 for Corona Cross. But, um, it is pretty... The second most expensive game I've ever bought. <laughs> for any system. Um, <clears throat> but it's an awesome game. I had it when I was younger, and I think my parents... Stole it from me and sold it off when they were trying to control the number of games that I had when I was really young. Like, between 9 and 12 years old. So, uh, I rebought it. I have that now. Uh, the other one, or the next one... Is Inuyasha a feudal fairy tale? And this is a fighting game based off of Inuyasha. Um, again, this is also pretty rare. Um, I believe that's actually an import that has uh, been localized. The packaging has just been localized with uh, subtitles. But it's completely. Uh, the voiceovers are to completely in Japanese. Uh, there aren't any English voiceovers. And the uh, final game that'll be on the for the PlayStation list will be uh, Legend of Dragoon, which is also a semi-rare game. Um, those are going to be the games that we will be uh, having you choose between, and you'll be able to choose uh, six games. You'll be able to vote for six games, and the top six games are going to be chosen to have walkthroughs done for them. Now, it de this is going to depend depend on how much force that I have and which games are going to be winning. Well, for instance, I'd be extremely, hugely, extremely surprised if Skyrim didn't get picked as one of the games. That would just be totally surprising to me. So, if I have enough information early on, early on or towards the middle of the poll that suggests that certain games are going to be winning, I'll start doing uh, recording for the walkthroughs, for them ahead of time. If I can do that, then what's going to happen is that we'll have probably either two on the first uh, set of walkthroughs, or four on the first set, and two on the last set. Um, if we do two on the first, it'll be four on the last, if enough of the uh, walkthroughs are done. Now, if I don't have enough of the walkthroughs done, we'll do three sets of two. And what, what I mean by that is we'll do three sets of two walkthroughs. In other words, two walkthroughs, then another two, then another two, to do the six. The last uh, change is going to be the length of the poll. Since uh, we have so many games, and since there are some walkthroughs coming down the line here that are going to be very long, like the Persona 4 walkthrough, we're going to be uh, having a really long um, poll here. It's going to be at least four months long. I th I'm pretty sure on that. Um, we still have not finished our Assassin's Creed or Nemoria walkthroughs. Those are still ongoing. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed may be nearing the end of the recording. Uh, I think I'm probably maybe 60% done with it. Nemoria, I'm not sure, because with Nemoria there's no really any point at which you say, okay, I've beaten the game. It just continues on until you either get your ass kicked by um, the enemies, or until you run out of food, or until you get sick and tired of playing the game. I've had two criteria for that set as for when I'm going to stop it, and that was one, either when uh, I reached year 10, which I may not do now, or when the game uh, is released and proper. In other words, it's gone through alpha and beta phases. Um, I'm thinking that's more likely what's going to happen. 
because uh, you'll be able to track the changes that are made as they uh, work on the game that way and uh, you'll be able to see the uh, different you know how things are how different things are from when I first started and uh, it'll give you a better impression of what the game is like at that at the stage it's at so that could go on for quite a while um, we're already up to 67 parts for that um, again I'm not sure how long it's going to take them to finish actually finish the game they are doing weekly updates though so it probably wouldn't be more than a couple of months to four months more <coughs> Which will be fun because if we get Assassin's Creed done, I can start the next two walkthroughs and run uh, the next two on the Friday slot or Monday slot, and then just have Nomoria on the next, the other one uh, by itself, which will be fine. But I don't want to do four walkthroughs at once if I have to record those walkthroughs. Technically, I don't even have to record them because uh, the next three walkthroughs have already been finished, or two, I guess, two of the next three have been. I still have to. I uh, record some more Persona 4, but The Walking Dead and Yesterday are already done. So if Nomoria continues on throughout the entire, uh, you know, poll, then that'll be fine. Um, because we'll have, be able to do that. Um, the 32nd project, which will be the last one before the poll, before I stop, because the poll uh, choices will take over from there, will be StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. Right now, the release date for Heart of the Swarm is going to be March 12th. Which is actually pretty close to what the original, uh, what uh, Wings of Liberty's release date was. But knowing Blizzard's probably going to be delayed maybe once or twice. So whenever that gets released, uh, I'll let you know when we're going to be starting that up. If it's uh, if it's uh, if we're done with um, Walking Dead and uh, Yesterday by that point, which I'm not sure if we will, but we could be. Uh, yesterday will be uh, finished. Since yesterday is so small, we'll be uploading it all. I'll be uploading it all on that on the day that it starts, and then we'll switch right over through into The Walking Dead as well. So what'll happen is that um, I'll make the announcement, and well, I'm gonna check how many <coughs> video parts is yesterday. I know it's pretty short. Though. How many? If it's more than ten parts, then forget what I just said. If it's under ten parts, then uh, do not forget what I just said. I don't remember how many parts this is. So it is seven part. Yes, yeah, so seven parts long. Um, with two with two alternate ending videos. So technically that's ten, but uh, seven parts proper for the walkthrough. So what we'll do is, is on the day that it's uh, that we start it, um, we will upload all the parts for uh, yesterday, and then um, on the next uh, upload day, which will probably be Monday, um, we will upload along with uh, whatever's scheduled to upload on that day. Now, uh, so we'll do it on Friday. And uh, whatever's scheduled to upload on Monday, we'll also upload the first uh, parts for The Walking Dead walkthrough, which is 21 parts long. <coughs> so, uh, we'll go right from uh, Project 31 to 32 that way. Um... And the Walking Dead's going to be finished long before Persona 4 is. <clears throat> I believe we're up to like 70 or 80 on that now. Let me check it. I've actually got it on a inside of a, like I have with Skyrim, I have it inside of a RAR so I can try and compress the uh, size of all the parts. Uh, 71 for that one. We're up to part 102, I think, for Skyrim. But yeah, um... So because of the length of Persona 4, it's going to be at least 200 parts, I believe. Uh, that'll probably continue on through along with uh, Memoria. Walking Dead will finish, then we'll start up uh, StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm. Then that'll finish. Uh, Persona 4 will finish. And then uh, Memoria will finish. And then we'll have a lull in the uploads while we wait for the poll to finish. For the poll to close. And uh, it'll be two weeks that we'll have nothing uploading because we'll have that two weeks while uh, the poll closes. And then we'll have another week after the poll closes so that I can make uh, the hugely long winner's video with all six of the <laughs> trailers in them. And what'll happen, though, is that we'll do the trailers uh, for the winners 
Or rather, I guess we'll just, we want to do trailers because they won't be starting at the same time like last time. So, I'll just announce who won and then we'll do the trailers like normal. Uh, the trailers for the first two games, though, will be uh, in that winner's video. Or first four, whichever uh, we're able to do. But expect, uh, you should expect three sets of two, though. That should be what's expected to happen. Um, the first games are likely probably going to be Skyrim, so I can get all the videos off of here, and, uh, depending on what's chosen, it'll either be Xenosaga 2, or it will be Dawn of War 2. Um, if neither of those are chosen along with Skyrim, then it'll be something else that I'll get to decide, but if either, if Xenosaga 2 and Dawn of War 2 are part of the ones that get chosen, um, it'll probably be Xenosaga 2 that plays with Skyrim. Because people have been asking me a lot about that for uh, more recently, so and Dawn of War 2, so that'll take uh, priority over it. But that's what's going to happen. Uh, in the description of this video will be links to the polls on our forum, our Facebook page, and our Google Plus page. Uh, if you want to, um, if you want me to, and I'll and want me to consider it to put a sort of a quasi poll here on uh, YouTube. Uh, let me know in the comments, and what we'll try what I'll try and do is I'll put up um, just a short video saying if you want me to do X walkthrough, vote this video up or something. Um, and we'll do that. I'll do that for each uh, game, and then we can have a sort of a quasi-video uh, video, uh, poll on YouTube as well. And I'd uh, put response videos to those in the response video section of this video, and you can just click on those as you wanted to. Or I could, at the end of the video, make a bunch of links, external links to the videos, or video annotation links to the videos that you could click on, which may be what I'll do um, if we if I choose to do that. We have a lot of time, so uh, I can start that up at any time. Uh, so just let me know what you think of that kind of a polling system, and I'll consider it if I get enough feedback about it. Um, what else is there to cover? If you want to, you can also in this video, uh, create, you know, have one person make a, uh, comment that you can vote up for each game. You can also do that if you want to, to have another polling vector. The more votes we have, the more, um, more concise things will be, really, which is what uh, I'm looking for by having a longer uh, polling session there this time around. I want to have some definitive winners this time instead of a bunch of ones that are kind of could be cho chosen. Like, for instance, say uh, Skyrim, obviously, again, I said it'd be a surprise if it wasn't. Uh, Portal 2, Dawn of War 2, um, Dark Spore, and. Uh, Custom Robo, <clears throat> I'll get between 5 and 10 votes, let's say. Uh, but all the rest of them have uh, between 1 and 3. So we have like 4 or 5 there that are definitive choices, but then the last one I have to go through and choose between all these different games that have the same amounts of votes. And that's not, so, that's not what I want to have happen. I want to have some definitive results. So the more, vo more votes we can get, the better. Uh, again, you'll be able to vote for, or rather, you'll be able to vote for any of the number of videos, uh, of games, rather. I would appreciate it if you only do the, the six that you want to see us do. Um, and at the end of the poll, we'll do what we did last time, choose the winners, make the winners video, post that up, and then uh, start the walkthroughs the week after that. Um, but I think that's all there is to cover. Uh, again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, feel free to like it. Comment if you have any questions. Um, we would appreciate it if you participate in the polls. I'll be putting um, links, pull links in the descriptions and in the videos, <coughs> just like we did last time uh, on the fifth, on the last video uploaded for that uh, specific upload upload day. Um, I know it was probably sort of annoying before, but uh, we're gonna be doing that again. Um, and uh, this video will be uh, the featured video on our page until the poll closes. So um, if you're looking for our uploads for the walkthrough, just look at the, uh, the, the uploaded videos below the featured video here. 
Uh, that's where they'll be located at. Or you can just look at the uh, our videos page and just uh, look for them that way. Or search for them on YouTube using the name of the game and then GRO along in the search uh, search words. Uh, GRO admin, that is, so you can pick them up that way. Uh, but uh, we'd also appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. And I will see you if uh, nothing changes with the schedule or the games. Um, either at the end of the poll or when uh, I make the YouTube uh, poll videos. So I'll see you then.